Well, Chris Bird is the bigger man in the ring tonight. Yeah, I was quite surprised. You know, when I seen him, I actually thought it was Dave Chappelle. I walked right past him. <laughs> and you look at the skinny legs, I'm the whole you. thing, but he's etched. And now we're going to get some answers to all those questions. Just what will he look like as a light heavyweight? What type of power will he carry? How is his hand speed? How is his foot speed? How's his comfort level? Again, Roy Jones Jr. did not do well going from 200 pounds back to 175. Right, but the difference is, you know what? Chris made weight six weeks ago, so, you know, he was well prepared. You know, I think Roy, you know, did it abruptly, and it, he suffered for it. Sean this, George, again, is no joke in here. You know, he lost a bout as a cruiserweight in February 2007 to Alexandra Gurov. That loss prompted him to drop back to 175. We've seen him on Friday night fights before against Richard Hall. Against the southpaw yeah. as well. Against the southpaw. So uh, he knows how to fight the southpaw style. My problem, uh, well, I'm worried about him being too too laid back and uh, wait, looking to counterpunch, but he's real aggressive in his first round. Yeah, he's calm. He's poised. And now he lays back a little bit, but he had Chris Bird on the defensive somewhat. You see crisp, sharp right hands from Sean George. And we're going to see that head movement tested for Chris Bird. Chris Bird, one of the best in the heavyweight division for years in terms of moving his head and avoiding punches. That's what he prides himself on. But he's going to be tested by a faster man, and he's landing on the head of Chris Bird. Yeah, he's really serious, man. I talked to Sean, and he told me, look, you know what? They, were, they, they got me confused. I'm not an opponent. I'm coming in to win this fight. He had tough sparring. This guy came to win. You can almost sense that Chris just wants to Kind of feel things through and test his own body in this round. And you wonder, too, he's never a big puncher, but is that because he was hitting guys 245 pounds, Shannon? Or is he not a big puncher? I don't know. Well, I don't think he was ever a big puncher, even from the amateurs before the amateurs together. But he's a precise puncher. He's a guy with those lot of combinations, great head movement. But you know what I can tell right now, from right early, right, he's being tested. Wow. He's, he's, he's wobbled. Sean George he's with her right hand. Yeah. And now he moves in. That leg swung out from Bird. Wow. And he's got to weather a storm. Yeah. He's being tested for real. Again, Chris Bird's stock is still high. His two losses in the last year or two been to the number one heavyweight in the world and then to Alexander Povetkin, who's a top ten heavyweight. So Sean George looking to make his mark. This is a career maker right here if he can even stop Chris Bird. Yeah, man. This is, like I told you, he said, I came to win, and that's what he did. Another right hand. And Ron, they, will, they hate that monitor. Man. I'm going to try to shoot over him. Again, right wing counter right Four. hands. Bird, Five. I think, protesting that he may have Six. slipped. I know, I know. Seven. Eight. Are you okay? Are you sure? Okay. Chris Bird rattled in the opening round by a determined Sean George. Great right hand to the body. <laughs> Sean is such a precise puncher. End of round one and the damage Chris done. Chris Bird is yeah, hurt. Chris is hurt. Chris is hurt. Wobbles back to his corner. Yeah, he's hurt. Okay. Wow, I wonder if the weight loss, you know, wow. Incredible. I can't believe this. You hate to see this from a great champion like Chris, but you know what? You got, you got to get off. You let him get set. Don't let him get set on you. He's throwing the right hand. Lead off with your left. Come back, lead with the left. Keep him at bay. Keep him at bay. He's moving back trying to catch you coming in. Yeah. Don't walk straight in on him. Jab your way in now. Jab your way. I'm following him though. I'm going around <laughs> the wrong way. Yeah, you heavy going? Up, man. We heavy up. Stay to the side. Hurry up. Spit there. Okay, you gotta put that mouthpiece in now. Let's go. The knockdown in round one, as you saw Joe Bird talking to Chris Bird, his son, and it looked like the right hand. It almost looked like it was blocked, but Bird was hurt by it, and that was that was a knockdown in the first round as Sean George. Coming out burning, and Bird to me right now, Shannon, just I don't see a lot of electricity yeah. in the body. The starch isn't there. It's, I mean, it looks, it looks like when he's back, he's back heel. Uh, I'm worried about Chris. Hopefully, he can, he can uh, you know, weather the storm and settle down and you know, get back in the fight. He was even looking for answers in the corner. You know, you could hear him talking to his father, saying, "No, I'm following him, doing that." Right. Looking for some answers here is Chris Bird. All that experience, 15 years as a pro, and now will have to call on that experience to get his feet under him here against Sean George. Yeah. And Sean is, you know, listen, look at him. He's such a pro, man. He's such relaxed, such a relaxed guy. 
I think a counter puncher, a guy who can, you know, as defensively, he'll fight as a, as a cutie. He's good defensively. He moves his head too. Right. But when he throws the shots, he, he throws meaningful, crisp shots. And precise. Said this time around, he's ready to listen to his corner. Tommy Brooks wanted to say, hey, you dropped the one, two, right, the jab in the right hand, you can't miss. And so far, he's been absolutely right. Sean's looking very sharp, very uh, focused, relaxed. Good. Right hands on point every time. Comes back with a hook now, and Bird again is in trouble. And Bird's so much experience and has a decent chin, but you can tell he doesn't feel good in there right now. No, not, not, not at all. And, you know, Sean, he's really on top of his game tonight. He came out here to, you know, to pull off an upset, and I think that's what, you know, he's trying to show everybody. That, you know, don't overlook me. I'm one of these guys in this division as well with Tarver and with the rest of these guys. And know, Sean George absolutely thought, hey, you know, I want this fight. Give me this fight. It's a great fight for his resume. And again, only 16, 2 and 2, but he was a cruiserweight, then moved back down. Still 29 in his prime. And, and Chris just turned right handed, which is, which is awkward. Chris is fighting yeah. right handed. Yeah. Come turns around a little conventional, yeah. looking for answers. Which worries me. You know, yeah. a guy who's been fighting his whole career, Sopcor, turns the other way. That means, you know, things aren't going well. Another right hand over the top by George. Right hand can't miss right now, Shannon. No, not at all. He's turning back now. He's very frustrated. But, you know, he's such a professional. He's still trying to stick in there. Oh. Another counter right by he's George. Hurt. He's hurt. Bird calling on everything right now to stay in it. Yeah. Shaky legs for Chris Bird. Hard punches by Sean George. And the return to light heavyweight 15 years later has not worked out as expected. Not yet, anyway. No, not, not so far. Not yet. No, George is, uh, George is very impressive. We're through two rounds, and Sean George in command. Back here ringside, and once again, uh, Joe Tessitore is on assignment at the Preakness, but uh, we just want to send out all of our best wishes and all of our love to Teddy Atlas and his wife, Elaine. Elaine, uh, just getting out of the hospital today, had a surgery this week, Shannon, and uh, it's funny, she even told Teddy, you can go to Vegas and call this fight, <laughs> but uh, Teddy, you know, again, staying home with his wife uh, where he should be, and hopefully they, they just got home today from the hospital. So, Elaine, all of our love and our best wishes, and, uh, you know, we just hope the best for you and Teddy. We hope to see you again very, very soon. Yeah, we hope for a love. You know, we send our love and a speedy recovery. Teddy didn't even, was in New York City. I saw him at the hospital during the week, but he was in New York, and he said, I'll go call that fight, you know, in New York on Wednesday night. I'll come right back to the hospital, sleep over, and he did that. But unable to come out to Las Vegas. So, again, hopefully Elaine is home now with Teddy and watching this fight tonight. Able to relax for once on a Friday night for Teddy as well. Yeah, I've known Elaine a long time. I think we met in 1992. You know what they say, behind every strong man is a strong woman. It means extra for Elaine, so oh, she'll be okay, I'm sure. That's, that's Teddy's foundation. I think you can tell how tough she is. She's like, no, go call the fight. So in our main event here, Sean George has looked tremendous. Chris Bird on shaky legs from the start. And so far, really just looking for answers for that straight-ahead linear attack by George. Yeah, what I like about George, he's so relaxed, man. He's such a professional. He looks very comfortable in the ring, like he's right at home. And you know what? He's not even getting a hype. He hurt Chris a couple times. You know, he's in against a guy who, you know, two-time heavyweight champion, but he's still keeping his composure. He's very relaxed. He came like he's the champ. Yeah, watch that fight. It was the night where we had Joe Calzaghe, the light heavyweight champ, in the studio, and he was fighting Richard Hall. And it's really awesome fight. It's, it's a total package, really. Yeah, I definitely. mean, you wonder, all right, what, what's missing? I mean, what, what is missing? Why isn't Sean George up there with the very top of the division now at the age of 29? I think sometimes what happens with George is he loses concentration, loses focus. I mean, he'll hurt a guy early like he did with Hall, then he'll back off, whether it's conditioning or just lack of focus uh, or concentration. But he has everything, the full package, hand speed. You know, he can move. He's relaxed. He has it all. Moves his head well, too. He really hasn't had to uh, do it too much here against Chris Bird because his strength has been enough. But what? this this could be this is a coming out party here for Sean George. Very possible. But again, I, I hasten to say, uh, again, so far, Chris Bird is still in there with a world of experience, and he's still fighting. Yeah. You know, George is awesome, man. He's, uh, you know, he's got that jab going, that right hand, that straight right hand. He's looking, his eyes are wide open. 